Cheers friends, it's so good to see you. Today we're going to be making the most ideal coasters using this fun little plaid pattern that I'm pretty excited about. So to get started, we are going to need some Lego squares that I have here, and we're going to need a whole bunch of colored tiles. Now, when I'm creating this kind of checked pattern that we're doing here today, I kind of like to select colors that are a little bit in the same zone and kind of complementary. But again, please experiment and find the kind of design that you enjoy. To begin with, I find that this square design is really perfect sizing for your general mug or cup. So I'm gonna show you how to create that. But if you have a giant mug or a tiny cup, you can amend this accordingly. So I'm gonna create this square by laying down nine tiles. And I'm actually gonna do that so that they're facing downwards. So then I'm gonna come in with these circular Lego pieces and I'm just gonna secure these tiles together. So this can take a little bit of finessing, but these pieces are really great to secure your tiles in place. So once your tile is in place, I like to use some of these squares to make sure that there's just a little bit of extra reinforcement on the back of our Lego pieces. So I'm just gonna click them into place. And this just makes sure that it's extra secure. And this is a really good time as well to just check that you're happy with how sturdy your coaster is feeling. Cool. So that's feeling really good. Now I'm ready to decorate with my plaid design. So to get started, what I'm going to do is create two alternate rows, one row with two colors and the other row with another two colors. So I'm gonna start off by using this pink and this vibrant green, and I'm just gonna keep alternating those colors. Okay, so once I've created my first row, you could absolutely just keep doing that along, but to create our plaid pattern, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some other colors. So I'm going to use blue here, and I'm gonna clip on some purple, and I'm just gonna keep alternating those two colors. And now this is what gives us our gingham effect. We're going to do this same first row again to the side of that and so on until we've covered the whole tile. So once you're done, make sure that they're all smudged down in place and all you have to do is add your favorite cup to your coaster. And if you make them in different colors, they're so great because they can also act as cup identifiers. So if other people in your family have cups and they want to know about it, you can make them a coaster. Cheers! Daisy.